Hi, I'm Josh Allen, Companion Bread Guy. We're here at home again, and we've got Chef Stephen Proctor from the Fox Theater. Hi, Josh. Welcome. Thanks for joining Thanks, us Josh. today. Thanks, Josh. Thanks for having me in your house. So we are spending the holidays with the Fox Theater here. We are. It's exciting. As part of our Collaborative 3 program, yes. um, we've worked up a really fun kind of holiday bread, a chocolate cherry yes. bread, Excellent and, bread, and you're going to do something fun with it. We're going to turn it into bread pudding. Uh, chocolate cherry espresso bread pudding. So that kind of falls in line with kind of the fun, innovative stuff you're doing at the Fox that I right. think nobody knows about. Well, that's true. We're kind of exclusive. Um, we're branching out more into the public. We do have a buffet restaurant that's open to the public that have tickets for that show. And we open two hours prior to each showtime. Well, let's jump in and get started because it's okay. starting to smell delicious already. So All right. Can... This is the way the bread is sold by Companion. It's our holiday crown. We're gonna take four of these loaves, or little buns, if you will. We're gonna dice them into about one inch slice uh, dices. We're gonna put those in a bowl. Then, in a separate bowl, we're gonna combine heavy cream, two eggs, two egg yolks, sugar, little vanilla, little instant espresso powder to heighten the chocolate flavor that's chocolate and espresso that's already in the bread, and dark cocoa powder. And a little kick, Meyer's dark rum. We're gonna whip that together. So after that's all mixed together, we're just gonna pour this over the bread. And let that soak. We'll grab a spoon. So how long would you let that soak? Um, 10, 15 minutes. Get a little stir every once while, get all that custard absorbed into the bread. Okay. And then we're just gonna take our bread pudding and put it into our grease loaf pan. We're gonna press it down slightly. And then we're gonna take a little bit of butter and just dot the top. That gets covered. Thank you. We're gonna bake this 350 degrees for about 35 minutes until it comes out clean in the center with a toothpick. And you remove the, the foil about three quarters of the way through the bake? About three quarters of the way through, uh, and then put it back in the oven just so the top gets crispy and crunchy. Okay, and we baked one a little bit earlier. We, we did. And we'll just unmold that real quick. This is obviously has rested for a while. And you can slice it into as large pieces as you want to. This serves probably about 10 people. And then you also are gonna do a little uh, mm -hmm. mascarpone cream. A little mascarpone cream to go along with it. So we have some heavy cream and some powdered sugar. We're just gonna beat that a little bit. You could use a little hand beater if you want oh, to. Oh sure, electric, make this mi a little electric easier, mixer, right? hand beater, sure. <laughs> I appreciate folks coming in here though and doing everything <laughs> by hand. And we're gonna add a little cherry extract and <clears throat> a little chocolate liqueur, once again, to pull the flavors that are already in the bread into the cream. Once that starts to thicken, we're gonna add eight ounces of mascarpone cream cheese, Italian cream cheese. And then we're just gonna beat that together, hopefully, until it's smooth. We're gonna beat that until it's smooth and thick. And then if we can just plate some up. All right, let me grab you a plate. Something together. One or two slices, depending on what you like. A little dollop. And you're done. Well, terrific. That looks delicious. The last thing we always have to do here in the house since is home, try it. Is give it a try. So I'm going to hand you a fork. Thank you. And this will keep great for a couple days. Sure. It actually looks like it'll go good with just about everything. Right. It's delicious. It's rich. Mm -hmm. 
but it's not too heavy, which is no. what I really like about it. Chef, thanks so much for joining Thank us you. here at home, and Pleasure. we look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you. Thank you.